guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be installing a set of the USD stickies onto my Rift. If you've been following the channel, if you've been following any of my Rift videos, you'll know that I built this buggy around being able to take it in the trail and enjoy the trails, enjoy a little bit of, you know, climbing, rock crawling, whatever, but still have something that if I want to, you know, rip it around a little bit faster, if I find a cool open area on the trails, I can, I can enjoy it. However, that has not been the case. I installed the included locker in the center. I left both the front and rear diffs open. I did use fairly thick fluid. I can't remember what it was. I thought it was 500,000 if I remember correctly. But when I had this truck in the trails a few weeks ago, it did not perform well. Didn't matter what I did. Basically, even though I've got that thick fluid in the diffs, it still always wanted to, you know, send the power to the tire that was, you know, hanging up in the air and all that kind of stuff. And it just, it made the buggy not a lot of fun. So what I chose to do, besides from guys buying these tires, I did buy another locker. So what I'm going to do, not in this video, but very, very soon, the next time you see this truck running, it'll have the locker in it. I'm going to install a locker in the rear. And then I've got an order with Trio that I want to place soon where... I'm going to change out these silver links to black ones. Just That's just based on appearance. But I am going to do an aluminum diff cup in the front and thicken that up even more. I'm not sure what I'm going to go to. If I might go right into a million. We'll see. My plan and what I'm hoping is as soon as I put a locker on the rear, my steering is going to be affected. And remember, guys, I'm not building this just for the trails. I, I want to be able to enjoy it kind of everywhere. But as soon as I do the locker in the rear, my steering is going to be affected. I'm hoping by extremely thickening up the fluid in the front that it'll help and it'll help with, you know, being able to use obviously both tires. If one starts to hang up a little bit, that the other one will still work. But having the diff locker in the rear, if I get into a situation where my truck's kind of up like this and all of a sudden I find one of my tires going, being able to have both tires in the rear locked, it should be able to push me up. If one of these tires, for example, starts to uh, slip because it doesn't have the locker in the front, that again, having that locked rear end, that this buggy will be able to push up and over. I'm not sure. I am not a huge crawler trail guy. I enjoy these things. I enjoy building them. I love the way they look, but this is all guys trial and error. I have spent some time looking at videos. I've spent some time looking at other people's setups. I think this is going to work. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, it's going to be fun. And as for the stickies guys, that's what this video is. These things are absolutely incredible. I was looking at them earlier and honestly, they are just so beefy, so thick. I just honestly, guys, really like the look of them. They definitely have a lot deeper tread than the stock ones. I am using, for now, the stock foams. I'm going to spend a little bit more time looking into the foams. I usually like the Crawler Innovation uh, two-stage narrow foams. So they're kind of, they're narrow right here. So they keep kind of the same uh, contour to the tire it doesn't like you know kind of balloon out like this sort of thing but yet have a softer outer so it's kind of got the hard middle but a, a softer outer just so that the tire can actually conform over rocks and stuff like that but i've uh, taken almost four minutes to start this video let's get into changing those tires <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to quickly stop there and just kind of show you guys the difference between these two tires. They're pretty much close to the same height and I would say almost close to the same width. Obviously, the biggest thing, guys, is the tread pattern and the tread depth. I'm trying to give you guys kind of a good angle there. I'm not going to measure it or anything like that, but you can see on these ones here and then you can see on these on the stickies just how much deeper they are going to be. This is going to be awesome. Now, my question is, once I get out and I start running, how will these perform? I'm curious to see what they weigh. If I can remember, as soon as I get this all apart and I get the foam out, I will weigh these two tires and just see what I'm adding. I'm not super concerned about weight from a performance point of view. I've got that big 2400 KV in there, so I'm not, that's not going to be a thing. I'm just curious to see how the weight will change if I go out and I try to bash the truck how will the extra weight uh, affect how I do things and recovery and stuff like that. But either way, these things guys look just sick. I am, uh, I'm pretty anxious guys to get these on the truck. So let's just keep going. Got the 
rim apart, got the foam out. By the way, I was trying to be careful with my foam. That's why it took me, even though in the time lapse, it probably took like that to get the foam out. I was trying to be careful with it just because I was out with this truck. I was in the water and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't, I didn't know how the foam was going to be. So, but it is still together, which is good. Once you get everything apart and you hold these two tires in your hands, I don't know how to explain it, but this, hopefully this makes sense. This now feels like a piece of paper compared to this tire. This is very beefy, very thick. Even when you're kind of just squeezing here, you can feel the thickness. You can feel the strength. Even though, guys, I had no issues with these tires at all, just compared to these stickies, these just, again, they feel like paper. They feel like there's just nothing here where this guy's is very thick. It, it just feels very, very beefy in the hand. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm going to kind of change the camera a bit. I'm going to weigh them just because I also, once you get these things apart and you hold them in your hands, this feels a lot lighter, guys. This, you can tell the weight's there. So let's see, uh, let's see how they come in. All right, we'll start first with the USD sticky. That comes in at 232 grams compared to the stock, which is going to be a lot lighter, 151 grams. So to put that into perspective, guys, um, 205 grams, uh, 216 grams, 231 grams. So again, just to kind of put that guys into perspective, this here weighs the same as the tire does. I not again, guys, I, that's not to me a big deal, but just I know always people always want to ask, you know, the difference in weight and stuff like that. I do find that I think most riffs out there are usually definitely well powered or even overpowered. So I, again, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Anyways, let's get back to installing these rims and tires because I am anxious to see how this thing is going to look when it's all done. Right, guys i've got one mounted up and first off yeah this looks wicked my only issue guys and like i, I mentioned i'm pretty sure i mentioned earlier on in the video is i'm still using the stock foams for her now i don't like the big bulge here you can kind of see when you look at the two tires i like the more narrow inner i can fix that guys two ways i could try to modify the stock foam and, and i'm not going through that so what I will do is I'm going to be ordering guys soon a set of the crawler innovation foams. They're, they have the narrow inners, but again, have a nice soft outer. That'll bring this in, suck this in a little bit and give me the look I want. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to get all the other three wheels and tires mounted up. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. But yeah, this guy is going to look awesome. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. But I am impressed. This thing looks incredible now. My, if you guys notice, I didn't bother lock and tightening in the screws. The reason I didn't do that was I know I'm going to be changing out the foams, but I am having a hard time trying to decide the route I'm going to take. I keep mentioning, you know, sort of jack of all trades buggy, being able to, you know, go out to the trails, do some rock climbing and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, if I come to an open area and I want to rip it around, you know, at high speeds, I can do that too. If I go with too soft of an outer, I'm going to have that problem where when I start trying to go higher speeds, my tires are just going to go blip. And if I was to go too hard, when I try to do obstacles, try to climb over a rock, I'm going to have a problem there. Also, I realized while I was doing all this that I have these. Uh, these are the ProLine 2.2s. Now, these are hard. I did off camera, guys, just mount them. I, I took one of the tires and I put that foam into the tire. The one thing it allowed a little bit of cushion because it is a lot smaller. So I did notice that, you know, you could kind of feel like you could kind of push down and feel that there was nothing there until it hit the foam. I had thought of trying the, those foams, but then I remembered that one of them is actually mounted up to a tire that's on the wall over there. And I just didn't feel like taking it apart. So I'm going to run the stock foams for now, see how it is and make the decision later on. Again, I want to just enjoy this buggy, no matter where I take it. If it's trails, it's rocks, whatever, we'll see. But stay tuned, guys. Later video. I probably won't do a video of installing the locker or anything like that. But 
the one changes guys I'm going to be making hopefully soon is I'm pretty sure I mentioned at the beginning of the video I do want to change these silver links out to the black ones I'm going to add the treal uh, black aluminum shock mounts up here and in the front if I can turn this thing around um, I'm going to have the aluminum diff housing or cup I guess you can say thicken up the fluid maybe finally change the servo horn the green used to look good with my old panels not so much with the orange and there was a few other little minor things i am still running the stock plastic axles i haven't had any issues with them but at some point that is going to be something i'm going to change also what's funny is that when i made the sticky purchase i had a cart going on the trail website as well with a lot of parts and i was doing both i was going to do all the parts and the tires the locker all that stuff and then you know i kind of sat back and i was working on a few other trucks or at the time I was working on a few of the trucks and I realized, oh man, I need money for this and I need money for that. So I stopped with the tires, stopped with the locker. I'm going to do that small order and then I'm going to see how it goes. If I get out in the trails and I get out with this truck and I start really enjoying it, yeah, we're, we're going to put some more money into it. So yeah, I'm just not sure guys how far I want to take it with this thing. My plan when I first bought this rift kit was to do something stupid, dump money into it, build it into something that's just wicked lots of aluminum just because this kind of buggy you know compared to let's say something like a 1 8 scale monster truck you know where you're trying to keep the weight down on a 1 8 scale monster truck something like this having you know aluminum axles adding a little bit more weight there if anything it actually benefits the truck keeps everything obviously a lot stronger but having that weight it's semi low will help when you're on the trails help when you're climbing and all that kind of stuff so yeah guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video the rift looks wicked and if you did enjoy this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and enjoy the pics.